What's up, people? <clears throat> you want to know why MTV didn't mention that one of their former executives passed away mysteriously? There is no cause of death. This is Terrence Dean. Who is Terrence Dean? Let's look into it. This is the book he released in 2008, Hiding in Hip Hop. It says, hiding in hip-hop begins with an account of Dean's traumatic childhood growing up impoverished to abusive, drug-addicted parents and how these childhood experiences led to him in the entertainment industry. Okay. Why didn't MTV mention this executive passing away? Maybe it was because of this book right here. I don't know. Dean then discusses how he got involved in a secret gay hip-hop subculture and his first parties. He gives graphic depictions of sexual acts between men he either participated in or witnessed, some allegedly involving well-known rappers or Hollywood celebrities. Throughout the book, Dean refers to himself and various individuals as being down-low or down-low gay, men who have sex with men who do not consider themselves gay or in the closet. Okay, he goes on to saying how he had to deal with mental trauma of deceiving his girlfriends, his family members, friends, things of that nature, living in a secret. Living in a closet is living in secret. You know, you're not telling people who you really who you really are. All right. This is what's cracking in hip hop today is being released. Cat Williams put us up on it. Uh, Diddy is being exposed. Other rappers are being exposed. You know, what their publicists do is hide these things from the public because in the illusionary world of Hollywood, all right, the fans got to continuously be distracted and not know the truth. <laughs> It says, Dean discusses the macho gangster image that he is the cornerstone, that is the cornerstone, but does not define the hip hop industry and how it plays against the sissy weak image of the gay community. Dean states that by outing himself and coming to terms with his sexuality, he might help other individuals or improve hip hop and Hollywood as a whole. Okay. <clears throat> It goes on to say in 2007, the publishing company Simon & Schuster announced the upcoming release of a book by Terrence Dean that would out gay men in the entertainment industry, okay? You see, he wants to let you know, or he wanted to let the public know who he was dealing with. And see, like I said, what y'all do in the dark is don't come in the light. See, back in the day when uh, Hollywood was exclusive, you couldn't peer in behind the scenes like you can today. It's a lot of these rappers that were supposed to be hard, come off looking hard, come off like they're from the streets. You know what I'm saying? But they are uh, feminine in nature. In 2008, Hiding in Hip Hop was published by I Atria, a subsidiary of Simon & Schuster. Contrary to its marketing, the book does not name real-life hip-hop artists, but rather contains blind items. Allegedly, gay rappers are assigned pseudonyms. Okay. He was going to out names. He was going to out rappers. And isn't it interesting that he mysteriously died in 2022? And nobody has heard about it. <clears throat> he has videos on YouTube, interviews, if you want to check them out. You understand what I'm saying? But how long has this been going on in hip hop? All right. Now, if you go back in the YouTube, especially Vlad TV, right? You go back about 10 years, 11 years, then you will find a lot of discussions on this topic right here. Check this out. This is not a coincidence. I put gay in hip hop in the YouTube search 
and it comes up with Vlad's DJ Vlad's videos. We got one, the game, 12 years ago. Okay. That's about 2008, 2000, 2010, 2008. Two short talks, gay and hip hop. Whistleblower revealed rappers are forced, forced to turn gay by big labels. Flashback, Fat Joe on the gay mafia controlling hip hop. Trek shares views on homosexuality and hip hop. Mano on rappers. Some of these guys got to be gay. <clears throat> okay. It's no coincidence that this is on Vlad TV. Styles P comments on gays and hip hop. Wendy Williams, there have been gays in hip hop since the 80s. Vlad TV. Okay. Kanye West addresses hip hop homophobia in 2005. This dude dropped a book in 2008. Prodigy says there is a genre for gay hip hop. DJ Vlad. Daylight. DJ Vlad. Gangsta Boo. DJ Vlad. Scarface. All hip hop TV. Coolio, how Coolio exposed Hollywood for forcing black rappers to turn gay. Let's check that out. Rest in peace to Coolio. Illuminati. It was quite fishy for him that the elites never contacted him by themselves. Instead, they sent shady people who would force him to do inappropriate things to get even a single song done. Come at me on some weirdo shit. Like on some gay shit. I've had my come at me on some Oh, you should do this type shit. The acts they asked him to do were so inhumane that he became very shocked, knowing that this is what it takes to make a position in Hollywood. I, I, I view that as being um, inhuman. I view that as, I, I would never do that. And this was where he decided to reject them. He thought that rejecting them would be good for him, and the industry too. But this decision proved to be even more bad for him. The elites of Hollywood supposedly tried their best to cancel him and did every wrong thing to him. Started happening to me. Went to jail. Was some bullshit. Got convicted. Well, not necessarily convicted, but because I had no time, no real time. Allegedly, they did so much wrong to Coolio that he was sent to jail on a false charge. He was arrested at Los Angeles Airport for the possession of substances. Coolio did not even know. Now, didn't they do the same thing to Cat Williams? But like I said, <clears throat> you can't be in front of us on a stage and not comply to some things. Now, that's what I'm waiting for on Cat Williams. He's broke the inter internet right now. Uh, Shannon Sharp's interview is doing crazy numbers, right? And Cat Williams is outing the black comedian circle. We know it's a circle. You understand what I'm saying? But this is way after. All of this came way after Terrence Dean's book. You dig what I'm saying? All right, this Nipsey Hussle and Diddy in the studio, right? Um, this is kind of weird. You got Lauren London and Cassie under the table playing for some reason. You know what I mean? Little, little girl personalities around old ass men. But the focus I want you to pay attention to is look at Diddy recording Nipsey Hussle.
ain't talking no music shit in like two years, you know? Let's go back to that. I mean, shit. The fuck? How's all my flow man? Weird old stuff. You feel what I'm saying? He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yes, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It did happen. It did happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some powerful people. What do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a, it's a consortium. They, they rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. Shortcut takers. I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. Mm. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, there's three other black guys on there. Mm. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. <clears throat> Let's go to the nine scrolls for sound right reason. The Wapu and Noon. Salute to Dr. Malik Heisey York and one of his students, Afro Uno. Listen to reason. Reason information is information based upon sound right reason, which includes inspiration and revelation and can be verified by investigation and examination of all possibilities and the use of the elimination process. Proof reason information is information based upon physical findings and other evidence, examples, reason, experience, parallels, inspiration, and revelation, and can be verified by the same methods used for proof information and reason information. However, like everything else, inspiration and revelation themselves must always be checked out by sound right reason for authenticity genuineness and reasonability of course knowledge and ignorance are opposites just as truth and falsehood rightness and wrongness intelligence and stupidity are opposites so a person has the option of deciding which side he or she will strive to be on and stay on and having an intelligently open mind indeed will help you know which is which and help you make the right choice moreover the choice is between reality and delusion, and likewise, reason and deception. Let it re be remembered always, and let it be known. Listen to reason. Satan, Set, is the rover and roamer among the gods and goddesses, together with Satan's matching female energy and principle. Each original spirit guide, together with his goddess, has a serpent as one of his attributes. For doing evil when so desired or needed, and this is why mythology, pantheism, and religion, the sciences of the gods, are full of deception, violence, and death for survival and pleasure for the spirit gods and goddesses of absolute nature. 
Let it be remembered always and let it be known. Deception is the science philosophy of Satan, okay? To be deceived. And that's what we're seeing in hip hop right now, all right? The fans of hip hop were deceived and believe in one thing and finding out it was another, okay? Just look at the definition. To deceive, to believe something that is not true, typically in order to gain some personal advantage of a thing, give a mistaken impression, fail to admit to oneself that something is true, be sexually unfaithful to one's regular partner, okay? And when you see deceive, it means to catch, ensnare, or to cheat. Okay. So we've seen from Cat Williams, the short, the shortcut takers, right? Terrence Dean, uh, who passed away mysteriously in 2022, right? Was a deceiver. Okay. There are many in the hip hop world who has been deceiving us, right? When we think on the right hand side it's about the music but on the left hand side it's about uh, deceiving people into sexual situations and manipulating them to produce something for you to advance your career right and with that being said I'm going to end it right there Look into Terrence Dean. He has videos on YouTube. And when you check out Terrence Dean, we might be looking at the inner workings of the hip hop industry dealing with the powerful gatekeepers who are black devils.